Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be taking on the Janemba Event Super 2, Overwhelming Force of Evil. Um, so as you see over here, I have my fusions team. Um, I have my Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and all the awesome fusion characters. Now, um, this is actually going to be a quick video because of how awesome this team actually is. Uh, I really didn't realize how awesome this team was. They're very forceful. The other thing is they also have, they all share the Super Saiyan link except for like one card. Uh, so that is Janemba's weakness, and that is the Super Saiyan Link. So when you go and do damage to him, he just gets damaged really easily. Uh, most of these characters are tech, and that's just because of the way the fusion are, <laughs> the fusion cards are. Uh, but there are some other good cards in this uh, as well. I think I got all the other than like Super Gogeta. I'm pretty sure all my cards are a pretty good setup uh, for optimal output. I guess I technically could replace my Karoli with the Technique Vegito. I know he doesn't get the boost from the fusions, but he's a tech card, so he can get the boost from the tech. And he just, he's there, he's meant for support. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead over here. Let's see, does he get something else? Does he get like a fuse for a budding warrior or anything? No, he doesn't. So, oh, he does, he gets something. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just, we're just gonna start this event. This is a really easy event for those of you who have a fusions team. For those of you who don't have a fusions team, I don't know how well you can stand up to it. Uh, Janemba dodges everything, by the way. So if you are new and you haven't watched any videos from the JP side, Janemba is a pain in the butt because all he does is dodge. He dodges everything. Not this version of him. Starting with the uh, intelligence one, he starts to dodge everything. And that makes him very, very hard to kill. <laughs> um, though once you get like one or good, two good shots in on him, he just he goes right down. <clears throat> so yeah, they need to work on some of their animations for like the bigger enemies because that definitely didn't look good at all. <laughs> uh, all right, well, Janemba, whatever, blah blah blah. So, alright, now we have our Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta friend and mine. And they're both, yep, they're both about the same, so we both have the bottom right view path unlocked. Alright. There's that. And you can see my tech Gotenks, man. He, he just, he, it doesn't matter. He has the key. <laughs> I can't get him to just 11. That kind of stinks, but... Alright, we also grabbed all those green orbs because we want the HP regeneration. And look at this. 1.5 million damage. And he dodged it. Oh man, the agility one actually does dodge. I haven't seen him dodge yet, so I didn't know that he dodged. <clears throat> but once he gets hit, look at that. He just goes down. 1.5 million, no problem. I don't think he has any like type of damage reduction, plus with the Super Saiyan giving him extra damage, it definitely is a benefit. Alright, cool. Yeah, this one is going to be the one that's a little bit more tough. So you want to hope... Well, see, I kind of want to do this, this setup right here, because that way I have three of them attacking Gotenks. But if I could seal him in the beginning, now it doesn't matter. We're just going to do that. Because even if he does get sealed, he's going to still do more damage to Gogeta. Um, Alright, cool. So there we go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully between the two of them, they both actually get to hit him without him, without Janemba. Never mind, Janemba dodged. Awesome. Cool, like, oh, additional. So let me know, do you guys have the strength to Gogeta? And if so, you have him 100%. How many times does he super attack on his additional? Because mine always does. Like, whenever it's an additional, I've, I've rarely, maybe once or twice, seen him only get... Uh, a normal attack off. There we go, that's what I want to see. Now he can't super attack. Alright, cool. Now, unfortunately, my Coroli is not going to do a lot of damage. He's probably going to miss the Gantic Spear. Oh, no, no, yeah, he, he, got, he missed. And then he's going to get a lot of damage done to him. He has 25,000. Alright, cool. So you know what we're going to do here? Uh, we're going to do a couple things here. First things first, we're going to switch that around. We're going to use a Sensu Bean just because I have so many of them in my gift box and I can't accept them so we're just gonna we're just gonna do that because we can bring this here and hopefully one of these guys can just get him one of these two between Gotenks and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta one of them will be able to take him out as long as they can actually make the hit now if you see him wow really now if you see the way he dodges the strength one dodges even more I believe he is such a pain in the butt oh <laughs> just it's a pain, man. And then he's going to be the one that hit him, but he's not going to get any damage in on him. Right, see? He w man. I wonder if it's placement, though. I wonder if it's the way that the, they're actually placed. Unfortunately, we can't test that theory anymore because of the way that it's set up. But that would have been awesome to test. Oh, so, you know, now now I'm also thinking here. Um, the next one is a strength one, so we're going to actually keep it go the, the biz, biz tanks on the outside. Because the next one is going to be strengthened. He will do a lot of damage against Fizz Tanks. 
Alright, cool, we got that. And we got that. Alright. We want to try and get as much HP regeneration as we can. By the way, I did feed some more uh, orb, potential orb, into my physical, my physical go tanks, the Super Saiyan one. Uh, I have, I got the bottom, du uh, the bottom left dupe path unlocked of him. And the reason why I did that is because he innately has a higher defense. So when I added more defense to him, I also gave him the plus five orb regeneration that's only available on the bottom left. So he will hear, heal a little bit better with the more orbs that he gets that are physical. So that, that, that was the why I did the bottom left instead of the top right. Um, I think the top right's kind of overrated. I mean, it also it, it's also it's very um, it's tactical. You need to take a look at the stats of the card and what would benefit him more. If he has a higher attack buff, you're gonna want to go to the top right more often, more than not. And if they have a higher defense buff or just a higher defense in general, you're gonna want to go bottom left because you can get a lot more regeneration from that. See how much this guy? See, he just dodged once. I, I, I hope Gotenks hits him, <laughs> and he, I hope he gets a crit. Awesome, he got a crit. Yes, okay, cool. Awesome. So he went down about three health bars right there. If Caroli can get him out, yeah. So there we go. It was actually like two and like two health bars, 99% of the last health bar. That is such an amazing super attack though. Geneva's super attack's pretty on point. I do like that super attack. <laughs> I cannot knock it. All right, cool, perfect. We should be good now to take him out, assuming we get all the hits in. And another good thing about this is the agility go tanks is on the end um that agility go tanks is going to take a lot of uh, make it easier to take damage because uh Geneba is a strength type so we're throwing on bulma we're going to get the attack and defense buff we don't need the damage reduction as of right now um there's that for some well we don't need the hp regeneration i, I did once actually get a um dokkan mode on here so <laughs> that was uh that was pretty awesome Let's see if we can uh, get lucky, <clears throat> and if we can get, if we both of these guys can hit him with super attacks, then I'm pretty sure he's going to be taken out, but he's not going to. <laughs> oh, wow, he got two attacks on him, he couldn't get it, damn. Wow, see what I'm talking about here with this Janemba man? This event's a pain, you know, honestly, I mean, it's definitely not worth it for you to grind out 77 of the old event that he doesn't dodge, but it would... Some of you who don't have teams would probably, I would probably recommend doing that over it, over this event, because if you don't have a good team and you're basing off of luck, this is not a good team, this is not a good way for you to go about it. <clears throat> Alright, cool, so we should be good here, I don't think Janemba's going to do enough damage to me to, like, actually hurt me enough, and with all the regeneration we're getting right now, especially with that Go Tanks regeneration, ooh, okay, cool, I got a Dokkan mode, and he super attacked this guy, so... Can he? Yes, he dodged. Now he's going to counter. Don't dodge. Don't dodge the counter. Haha. <laughs> awesome. All right. Now we got a Dokkan mode. Let's see what we can do here. If this Dokkan mode is going to... If he, if he can... Um, ooh, no, I failed one. All right. That's okay. Um, if this Dokkan mode could hit, he's going to knock him out. And it's probably going to do a lot of damage. I haven't seen Dokkan mode with this guy yet, so... <laughs> all right. Attack all. See, it's funny. It says attack all, and he just doesn't attack all. If it was an AoE, that would be awesome. 2.8 million damage. That's amazing. Heck yeah. I just can't believe that we're getting to a point in JP side where, like, that's the average. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, guys, that was the Janemba event. Fusion's team is perfect as long as you have all the Super Saiyans for it. Um, at some point, I'm going to probably do a summoning video on the Fusion's banner because I want to get that Pandel for the support, and I would like to get Weiris for my LR Gohan. Uh, but outside of that, yeah, um, I'll probably do something like that along the ways. But it's, it's a pretty good setup. Oh, let's see over here. Um, I will be doing the Gogeta event. I haven't done it yet. I, I, I tried to beat it once, and I, I've, I've actually I've tried to beat it twice, and I failed with two separate teams, and I just I could not get it, and so I was very upset with myself. But yeah, at some point I'll be coming back for that. Uh, and I still need to grind out the uh, actual medals for the Fizz Tanks. I, I might actually Doken Awaken him, uh, just so that way I can take him on events and he'll do a lot more damage. But, anyway guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Let me know how much fun you're having with these new teams, and if you guys have been running a Fusions team since uh, the second year, or if you just got one, how awesome is it? Um, thank you, I'll catch you guys in the comments below. Peace.